It was a creed written into the founding documents that declared the destiny of the nation. Yes, we can. It was whispered by slaves and abolitionists as they blazed the trail toward freedom. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. It was sung. It was sung by immigrants. It was the call of workers organized, women who reached for the ballots, a president who chose the moon as our new frontier, and a king who took us to the mountaintop and pointed the way to the promised land. Yes, we can for justice and equality. Yes, we can. 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 Yes, we can repair this world. Yes, we can. 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 So well then, we know the battle ahead. Always remember that no matter what obstacles stand in our way, nothing can stand in the way of the power of millions of voices calling for change. We have been told we cannot do this by a chorus of cynics. They, they will only grow, grow louder, louder and more dissonant. We've been asked to pause for a reality check. We've been warned against offering the people of this nation false hope. But in the, but in the unlikely story, story that is America, there's, there's never, never been, been anything, anything false about our hope. hope. The little girl who goes to the public school in the village are the same as the dreams of boy who learns on the streets of L.A. We will remember that there's something happening in America. That we are not as divided as our politics suggest. That we are one people. That we are one nation. And together, we will begin the next great chapter in the American story with three words, three words that will ring from, from coast, coast to coast, coast, from sea to the shining sea. sea. Yes, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can.